I had first gone to Aggie Balance way back for indigestion. So that was the first time that I'd met Lauren and met you, Spence. Um, and I kind of had it in the back of my mind that this was a kind of a great place with some really interesting philosophies. And I'd remembered from uh, somewhere either on your wall or one of your brochures or on the website, nourish the soil before you plant the seed. And I remembered that for fertility. And at that time, I wasn't really thinking about getting pregnant or anything, but I knew that it was something that would be my future. So a few years later, I thought, in light of my own gynecological history, which I'll detail for you, I thought perhaps you would be helpful in hearing some of my concerns, um, allowing me to be in a safe place to take it to the next level and get me to the most fertile place I could be. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't really know how to word all of that. I just knew that I wasn't sure where my hormones were at. I wasn't sure if I'd even be able to conceive a child. Um, and you know, just what was going on around me with other friends yeah. who had either tried and failed um, or had you know, issues and had them dealt with. And they'd either come to you, so I'd heard a lot about acupuncture just through other means. So in a nutshell, uh, I came in, I guess end of October, November, thereabouts, and sat down and said, this is my gynecological history. I had fibroids, and I had three big fibroids, one the size of a grapefruit, the other two the size of Roma tomatoes. Fibroids um, come from a hormonal imbalance, so too much estrogen sometimes. Sometimes they also come because of stress, and then there is a hereditary component. My mom had had fibroids, and there's an unknown factor. We don't know why the, the body wants to do that. So I had those removed. And I did not know, in light of such an invasive procedure, whether or not I had any scar tissue, any adhesions. I didn't know what my estrogen or my hormonal levels were that had caused that in the first place. So in coming to you and in reading what your philosophies were, I figured that the best thing for me would be to get all of that in short order balanced. And your tenants were such that it takes three months to balance the body thereabouts right? Three cycles or so, ish, mm -hmm. depending. And I'm all about that. So that's how the process started. And when meeting with Lauren, he suggested, well, in conjunction with um, traditional Chinese medicine, it would be to your benefit to also go and have a Western um, opinion and workup. So I went to Genesis and um, I went through three tests. One was just a standard prenatal blood work that every woman has to do. Um, gosh, I'm so puffing here. Hold on. <laughs> um, I find that you get a little more out of breath. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, now, what, what am I now? Four months. Four months, one week. 17 weeks. Going on 18 by this Saturday. Anyway, so I did the standard prenatal uh, blood work. Everything came back from that initial um, uh, test as fine hormones were in where they were supposed to be. Second test that I did was um, a vaginal ultrasound. So they counted how many ovaries, you know, how many eggs I had in my ovaries. You could visualize them. They could also look at my uterus and uh, they were able to tell me that, well, there's a couple of little fibroids that are there, but everything looks fine. Uh, it's tilted slightly, but, you know, that could be a result just structurally how you were born. Um, or who knows, maybe it was a result of fibroid, but it wasn't anything that they felt would interfere with um, conception. So that was the second test. The third test was a hysterosalpinogram. That involves taking some liquid, um, a dye, that um, they insert vaginally through the cervix, and it goes up through the uterus and visualizes the uh, fallopian tubes. And if there's any blockages, any polyps, any cysts, or anything that shouldn't be there, once you get your x-ray, um, you'll, yeah, you'll see it. And you'll also feel that if there's pressure, well, that exam went fine as well. I had come to you with the idea in mind that 
I want to be in the most optimum shape possible. So exercise, nutrition, whatever plan that you'd like to give for me, I would like to uh, make it a part of my daily regime. I'm 41, I will be 42 this July. And there's nothing good that you read about being that age and stage. So, and so far so good, as I said, I will attribute all that I have gone through to get to this point to AccuBalance 100%. I think, I, while I could say I will never know if I just tried naturally, I would say there's no doubt in my mind that what you did, your team did, assisted us in getting to that place expeditiously and in a healthful way. I've never felt better. Besides the huffing and puffing, I've never felt better. Thank you. And Renee, um, my fiance, was um, on board with this in the sense that he said, well, whatever it is that I need to do, if you're going to go through these tests, then you know, I'm happy to, to do whatever I can. And he provided a sperm sample, so he went and had his sperm analyzed, and you know, everything came back fine for him as well, which was a relief, absolutely. And he also partook in some acupuncture. Uh, he came in, I think, and did a couple of months, eight sessions anyway and loved it. So it was stress release for him and he was also put on a little vitamin regime too. So I think it does take two and we had good communication and I don't know, I wanted to tell this story because what a very close friend of mine went through um, was difficult. It was um, challenging on a lot of levels because it made me question my own fertility it made me um, want to be in the best possible shape I could. It made me want to have as much knowledge as I could. It want, made me want to know my own body and my systems as well. Um, in me sitting here and having this conversation and sharing my journey, that it would be helpful to someone who is of my age and stage um, to go forward and you know give it all you got but do it with the idea in mind that you need a team you need somebody that can listen somebody um, that can nurture you along and allow you to feel safe in that environment so anything and everything is okay to say and okay to feel because it is an emotional journey I looked at all of the options I looked at IVF I looked at IUI. I looked at everything because I wasn't sure if that would end up being my route. I didn't know what stage my eggs were at. I didn't know if my eggs were at the most optimum point. And I liked that working with acupuncture um, and the teas and everything would allow my body to produce and bring forth the healthiest eggs that would be there and not have that opinion that I was just too old and therefore my eggs were too old and this is the end of the road for you. I'm one of the blessed ones that my process has ended with a success and will hopefully continue right through to a happy, healthy outcome with a lovely baby, boy or girl. <laughs> <laughs>